starvation and dehydration. Not even enough water to sustain anything other than the Sahara. The only supply comes from the Nile, and it's filled with the tears of African people. It is a place of despair. The air is filled with bullets. Make sure you don't inhale. This place is stuck in a time capsule from 500 years ago. We see it as some still life photographs, slight movements like it's a film of destruction, corruption because political figures run rapid in this place. Poor people, let's make them our charity case, right? It will help to soothe our souls, the guilt we feel from our lavish wealth, concern for others instead of self. American tour guide knows nothing about Mother Africa. They say it takes a village to raise a child, I mean. When you cry, you know it's always safe to run back home to your mother. Eve's bosom was born here. Roots so far down in the soil, we can't find them. We never started from the bottom. There's been a slow descending from high altitudes. Descendants of kings and queens could come from gold. Rich is this skin tone. Rich be this bloodline. That melanin, though, we glisten. I come from a people where the fountain of youth reigns in our veins. We be that black magic they always warned you about. Skin that quite literally absorbs rays of sunlight hair that grows up like a well-watered plant lips before the challenge went viral. Imitation is flattering. Are you jealous that the sun has kissed me more than thee? This skin is a public display of affection. Where my roots lie, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. But in America's black history, the darker the skin, the tighter the news. Don't you tell me that we have never faced injustice. From Rwandan genocide to the attacks down in Boko Haram, the Egyptian Revolution, Kenyan students dying for their right to learn and find solutions, American tour guide says nothing unless it's beneficial. But when you cry, you know it's always safe to run back home to your mother. We talk about it like it's a country, when in turn it's 54. They say it takes a village and that's all it took and more. Africa is my mother, not a damsel in distress, begging to be saved. Different cultures, different stories, no, we don't all look the same, this continent. Home to many animals, strong and brave, but there are cityscapes and sidewalks, unlike the images say. Our roots are clothed in dignity and strength because the landers, even bouts of rival captivation, these nations be triumphant. So from the mountaintops of Tanzania to the last grain of, of Joab race in the pits of our stomach, Africa still smiles. And we children grow up. No need to run home crying to our mother. We become just as resilient as she. Standing strong with the, with the many villages that raised me in her rear, she will always tell a story of hope.